the fall of 2007, eight boys arrived at St. Andrews, scrawny and awkward. In 2011, these eight boys, now men, rode their way to the Henley Finals, claiming the title of second best high school crew on the planet. What transpired between 2011 and 2000, 2007 and 2011, aside from the boys gaining hundreds of pounds of muscle collectively, was the quintessential St. Andrews athletic experience. The realization of the highest personal potential in the cohesion of the team. Sports reshape lives in ways unique to all of us. For some, an athletic commitment gives him purpose and clarity where there is none. For others, it serves as a respite from separate, more stressful priorities and demands. And for most, sports fuel the St. Andrews social experiment, acting as a unifying common ground for people of varying backgrounds. The small size of our school denies no student these opportunities. Athletes who want to compete can always find a team. People can afford to try new sports. And it does not always take four years to ascend to varsity. I have always marveled at the range of improvement students have been able to achieve over the course of their short athletic careers here. Perhaps it is the absence of the typical high school party scene distraction or the overwhelming academic rigor that drives our students into the gym on Sunday afternoons and early mornings before class. Four years ago, Will Brown, whose skinny frame did not fit his wild black mop of hair, sat on the bench of a JV basketball game and envisioned himself on the court contributing. Now, Will is a tri-sport varsity athlete who has earned all-conference honors in all three seasons. Knowing Will, this dedication may be partially explained by his desire to improve his beach body. <laughs> Still, Will is one of countless examples of athletes who imagined a future self and simply found a way to become it. St. Andrews produces excellent players, but more often and more importantly, it manufactures great teams. Our teams are not comprised of individuals inwardly focused, rather ones who prioritize the spirit of competition and the success of the team over all else. For it is these athletes who only seek personal glory that miss the true joy of sports. It is these athletes who slam their helmets on the ground and storm off during a team huddle. These type of athletes are not found at St. Andrews. The most impressive part of the 2011 Henley Finals crew narrative was that the members of the crew were captains of other teams. I used to suffer from intense nerves before and during cross country races. As I sought to remedy the problem, I tried meditation and I hunted for answers. Still, the issue persisted. The solution was far simpler than I thought. At the starting line of the state championship, I turned around and examined my teammates. There stood Daniel McGuire, who was struggling with that week with the possibility that he may have already peaked as a runner. Beside him, Malcolm Brown paced, nursing a purple bruised toe that he bent out at a 45 degree angle, chasing his aging, sluggishly obese cat around his house. <laughs> My nervousness began to seem petty in the context of the team. The race was not centered around me. I was not alone. In the final mile, instead of allowing my thoughts to consume my attention and plague my performance, I acknowledged all of the other runners suffering around me and realized that they were suffering with me. It was then that my nervousness began to dissipate. At St. Andrews, a team can win only one game and still derive as much meaning and joy from a season as an undefeated squad can. At St. Andrews, it is not about the individual glory. It is about everyone in this room who has played a sport, including the ones who may not receive awards this weekend. At St. Andrews, it is about a school alum, Dan Primiani, making the 45-minute drive to voluntarily coach three seasons of sports here every day throughout his college career. At St. Andrews, it is about Olivia Gums showing up to volleyball practice to coach her teammates after practice every single day and rehabbing with Al in her own time. It is about Chris Hanrahan trying a brutal new sport by joining the swim team instead of spending his senior winter training for his primary interests, lacrosse. 
At St. Andrews, it is about a deep respect for and commitment to the spirit of the game, the grace, sacrifice, and resilience that our athletes display because they understand that they are a part of an extraordinary process much larger than themselves. Here, the extraordinary is not limited to the gifted few. It is found wherever someone is chasing it.